Hello everyone, my name is Nyx, and today I will be walking through on how to properly activate the hidden free cam or debug camera mode for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, do note that this only works with Windows 10 and there are some disadvantages, but as you can see, I am able to freely navigate around the world. I am in creative mode, but if I go back in first person and set myself to game mode zero, as you can see, I'm in survival mode. The debug camera mode still fully works and as you can see my in-game character is there and I can freely move my camera around. I can also clip through blocks, it works all the way like that so you can inspect whatever is going on under your world and uh, yeah. Now this works in a completely unmodded version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition that you get of course through the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store I think and um, yeah as you can see it works. I have no mods installed. You have to go into some system files so just a warning in advance, I don't believe that this will break anything because I have tested it thoroughly, but I do not take any responsibility if you somehow mess up some system files or whatever, you have to follow the guide exactly, and uh, if you don't I won't take any responsibility, even if you do I don't take responsibility, just so that's clear. But yes, I don't believe that you will cause any significant system damage because the most dangerous thing that we're going to do is just giving ourselves permissions to read the Windows Apps folder. Now a few other properties about this camera mode right here is that it does not load chunks, it only displaces your camera. So as you can see my player is still there and we can use the so-called semtic forms which make use of unloading and loading crops and uh, still navigate around and watch them freely and not have them break because our player is still right there and just loading these chunks right here. Now, of course, you can even go further out of your simulation distance and your render distance. So as you can see, it will just render from back there. So everything still happens from back there where the character is. But you do, of course, have the free camera modes. As you can see, that is the edge of my render chunks. Now, there are a few other things to note about this. First of all is that you cannot move the camera without also moving your in-game character. So as you can see if I move the camera, my in-game character will also move as well and if I jump, it will jump as well and if I crouch, it will crouch as well. Of course jumping, well spacebar and crouch, whatever you have that assigned to, could be shift or control, will also be used for going up and down with the camera mode. And yeah, you do have to be aware that it also moves your player model. So what I recommend is either boxing yourself in while using this. So you can just use a couple solid blocks and box yourself in. That way you won't go anywhere weird. Or what you can do as well is get yourself a minecart. So I'm just going to get myself a minecart and place it down. And what you have to make sure when using the minecart method is that you do not press... Um, jump or crouch because those will make you exit the minecart but as you can see I will stay in place and be able to fully navigate the world. So another thing to note about this debug camera mode is that it will always default to the coordinate 0, 0, 0. so no matter where you are in the world it will always spawn itself at 0, 0, 0, which can be quite inconvenient if you are like 2000 blocks away from spawn, so that means you will have to manually fly the camera all the way to over where you are, so that is definitely a big downside. I don't believe you are able to change that, I have tried and the JSON file does not allow that, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much the biggest downside about this, but this is still pretty cool. And if you are wondering, this does work in funny vanilla survival, you don't have to have cheats enabled and it is also a great moderator tool for investigating what might be wrong on a server regarding cheating and whatever. And of course, um, you don't have to be moderator to do this, so this could also be detrimental depending on what you do. However, this also works on purely vanilla survival realms and multiplayer worlds. It works pretty much everywhere because it's only client-based. That means uh, the server has no control over what you do with this camera mode. 
However, with that being said, this camera mode is quite complicated to set up and it only works on Windows 10, that means it will be accessible for very few people and the opportunity for cheating with this is pretty much zero. Besides, the biggest thing you can do is just look through walls. You can't really see ores or anything, so there isn't much cheating involved. It's mostly just a utility tool. Alright, so that being said, of course also being said that I don't take responsibility for any potential system damage, although again, this will most likely not happen, um, let's get into how to properly activate this. Alright, so we are starting this off fairly simple by going to our system desktop and what you're going to want to do from there is just open your normal Windows Explorer. So we are just going to make this full screen for a second and we're going to go into our system, our main drive and what you're just going to want to do from there is go right up here where it says view or for me it's in German because I'm German but basically you're just going to want to go to the fourth uh, from the left and you're going to go to right here and it should say hidden elements and you're going to want to take that because we're going to want to see the hidden folder that is the Windows apps folder. This is where all the Microsoft Store app files are located and this is also what we need to tick in order to make sure that we see the folders. As you can see, if I tick that and untick that, a couple of folders will be hidden and unhidden. Make sure that it's ticked and then we are all good. From there, just go into Program Files and when you scroll down, as you can see, you will see the folder Windows Apps. Now once you're here, you're just going to want to right click on this folder and click on Properties. And then should be the third from the left, you're going to click on security. Now I will keep saying what everything is because I have my system in German and you're just going to want to click on advanced. And from there, you're just going to click on change the little symbol with the shield right here. This, by the way, means that you have to have administrator rights. So if you are here in the first place, this means that you are the system administrator or one of the system administrators. And that means, of course, that you basically own the thing. So we're just going to click on change. And from there, you are going to want to type in your username, which of course has administrator rights. And we're just going to type some random thing in. And this right here says check in for names and basically this will just check if this is a valid username. And once you got that set up, I'm just going to click on OK. I already have it set up properly, but yeah, this will basically give you access to the folder. Now, once you have access to the folder, you can just double click on it. And we are going to want to scroll down all the way until we see Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. Just click on that and you will be presented with a bunch of files which don't really mean anything. You're not going to want to touch those. What you're going to want to do instead is go into this folder called data, then definitions, cameras, and once again cameras. And you're going to be presented with some camera setup files. Now you're not going to want to touch any of those except for this one right here. It says thirdperson.json, you're just going to want to copy it and then go to your desktop and paste it. Now, make sure that you have it pasted because what we're going to do afterwards is delete this file. Now, make sure that you delete it because we will not be able to overwrite it later with the tool that we're going to use to copy in the new file. Now the new file that I am talking about is another thirdperson.json file which is named the same of course but has all the necessary debug info inside of it. Now there will be a download link to it in the description but I have already it here of course and we're just going to open it up and just to prove you that there really isn't anything that could mess up your system on my side, I am not trying to hack your system I promise, um, there are a few varying factors right here. So one thing you can configure yourself before we go to the next step is this right here, the speed and the speed alt. 
Now, speed is at which pace your horizontal movement works. So, of course, you can also fly by looking up and pressing forward, but that's not really the thing here. So, basically, just will just be which speed your camera flies at with the arrow keys or the WASD in my case. And the speed alt is the speed at which you descend or ascend using space or shift. And yeah, you can change that to whatever you want. I have it at 30 and 40. If you do this the first time, I would recommend just leaving this alone. So make sure that you don't mess anything up. But yeah, this is pretty simple. So we have just our file right here. I have it in a folder, of course, because you can't have two files of the same name in the same space. So this is the original file. This is on the desktop. And this is the file which you are going to download from the description of this video. Now before we go any further, you are going to want to go into the description of this video and search for IOBIT Unlocker. Well, not research because there is a link, but basically you are just going to want to go on this site and this is the proper site, just make sure you click the link in the description and click on free download right here. Don't click on anything else if there are ads. So this will just be the normal download and it will give you the setup right here. As you can see, I already have it and I already have the program installed, of course. So make sure to install the program and then you will be set for our next step. So our next step is pretty simple. You're just going to want to go into the place where you have downloaded the third person JSON file that you got from the description. Make sure it's not the original one. And what you're going to want to do is right click on it and click on IOBIT Unlocker. And you're just going to want to go in there and then go into this little arrow right here. So just press unlock and copy. And what you're going to want to do here is click on system, program files, windows apps. Let me find that. There we go. Go back down to Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. Let's find it. It's right there. Data, definitions, cameras, and cameras again. And from there, you're just going to want to click on OK. Now, it's, you, you might notice it says unlock and copy successfully. And if you did that, then everything should be right. If the Windows Apps folder does not show up for you in IOBIT Unlocker, make sure that you have selected showing hidden folders in the Windows Explorer itself because it is linked to the Explorer that is shown in this program right here and you need to do that. So if you are doing this correctly and you have done this then perfect. You can just exit. So there we go. So we have replaced my debug um, third person.json file with the original one and we have our, our original right here of course and this is pretty important just to make sure that you still have something to revert to. Now, if you somehow lost this file right here, you can still just uninstall your entire game and reinstall it and that will restore everything to its default state. But of course, for some people like me, it's preferable to not uninstall everything and I think I can say that safely it's the same for most people. So I'm back in my testing world and if we just go into third person, let's just do through settings. So third person back. This is what I said. As you can see, the debug camera mode will be activated and like I said, it puts you at zero, zero, zero and it works just like described. And yeah, that is pretty much the basic setup of what you need to do. Alright, that's it. Your fully debug camera mode for Minecraft Bedrock Edition Windows 10 guide which have been pretty useful for you. And again, like I said, since this involves a lot of messing with management permissions, etc., I do not take any responsibility for potential system damage, but I think the results are very nice. If you look at it, you can just freely navigate everywhere. You can go up, go down, all the way. And of course, your character will still be elsewhere and will still be moving, so you need to be aware of that. So, I think I discussed all the pros and cons in this video properly and also walked you through how to install this properly. Now again, you can just uninstall and reinstall the game if you are not happy with what you have just done or if you have somehow lost the original third person JSON file and that of course since it's a full game uninstall will delete the world etc but you can also do that by copying the world somewhere else, 
because the other game folder is more accessible, but I'm not going to show you that. But yeah, this is pretty much the simplest thing you can do. And um, yeah, with that being said, there's not much more to say. I hope you enjoyed this. And this is pretty much the first time I've seen someone post it on YouTube. I have been guided through most of the steps by a Discord user called Raven, so without them I wouldn't have really known how to do this on my own. But yeah, this is definitely pretty cool and I'm glad to share this with you, assuming that you have Windows 10 and that you have all the permissions etc to do this. Now, again, I don't think this is really useful for hacking or anything. It's just a utility tool in my opinion, and this is for educational purposes only. So hopefully you were able to follow through properly and you got your entire debug camera set up and if you did then I am happy and if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask down in the description below. However, YouTube comments are not very easy to answer for me, I mean they still are, but there is a much easier way with it which is Discord. Discord is just a chat platform and uh, I have a Discord server, this is basically just a huge group chat with different channels and categories and stuff for you to explore and it definitely is a very nice place to hang out so if you have any questions then feel free to join there because I am able to help you there most of the time and we are a growing community we have already over 1600 members in that discord server which is pretty cool so yeah I highly encourage you to check it out but uh, with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this guide on how to properly activate this debug camera mode in full vanilla Minecraft. And uh, yeah, so um, again, this only works on Bedrock Edition. This is not Java Edition. This is just the Bedrock Edition. But um, with that being said, I hope you very much enjoyed this little guide and you get a ton of use out of this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more cool stuff like this. I usually don't do tutorials that are so heavily system related and I just do more redstone tutorials but I think this was worth sharing because I have showed it in my previous video and many people were interested in it. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you very much enjoyed this video and got a ton of views out of this guide. My name is Nex and bye bye.